Out of all the guitars in my collection, this one means the most to me. This is my Fender 1952 reissue Telecaster that I've modded to no end, and I'll explain why in this video. Let's get into it. When it comes to modding guitars, I don't do them just for the sake of it. I made all of these modifications based on necessity. Now, the pickups that came with this guitar sounded great clean, but they were unusable for a lot of the original music I was playing and higher gain blue stuff. So, I replaced the pickups with these Joe Barton Danny Gatton pickups. And one of the reasons why I did this is my good friend Dr. Rick had a pair in his Telecaster and they sounded great. The great thing about them is they got a 4.5K output on the neck pickup, which is very reminiscent of a standard single coil pickup except there's no buzz and while they have that dual rail style look to them they're not a high gain Damasio pickup or anything like that they're almost indistinguishable from a traditional single coil but they also handle gain really well but what we'll do to start with is I'll show you some of the clean tones that this guitar is capable of here we go <laughs> The second and maybe most important upgrade I made to this guitar was having the frets replaced with 6105 stainless steel frets. Not only are these so much better to play under the fingers, they won't wear out. So if you're in a situation where your frets are getting really low, chuck a set of stainless steel frets in and your guitar will be playable indefinitely. While the frets and pickups have made a huge difference to this guitar, it's also extremely dynamic. There's something really special about how the Joe Bardens handle your volume control. You turn it down, cleans up beautifully, turn it up, and you can rock out. Let's take a look. This next modification is a minor one in some ways, but it also drastically changed the playability of this guitar. If you're a live player and you like to quickly select pickups nice and fast, sometimes with a traditional Telecaster plate with a straight switch plate here, you'll have a hard time getting your finger in between the bridge position on the switch and this volume control. Now, some people like to switch the plate all the way around and that can sort of help to some extent, but then you've got the opposite problem. So what this will allow you to do is get more purchase on the control and whip it from bridge pickup to neck pickup without any problems at all. This is from Rock Rabbit. I've had this probably five or six years and it's been an awesome upgrade. Another one of the huge benefits to this instrument is the fact it can handle multiple gain stages. Being that we get the dual rail design pickups, even though they're low output, they can handle as much gain as you can throw at them, which makes them far more usable than a lot of single coil pickups without any buzz. It's awesome. Let's take a look. <laughs> These last two modifications also came from a place of necessity. Again, none of this was done just for the sake of it. I replaced the Telecaster jack socket here 
with one that screws into place. That cup design is one of the worst things I've ever seen on any guitar. And if they've ever come loose, they'll continue to come loose. This one's been awesome. If you want to check it out, I'll link one below. Secondly, I replaced the volume and tone controls with Emerson Pro Pots because over time I wore the other pots out. One of the tips I'm gonna give you if you're on the hunt for a great Telecaster is to find a neck pickup that's very voicey, almost Strat-like in its tonality. Strats inherently have a little bit more top end and bite over old school vintage style pickups. Not all of the time, but most of the time. There's a lot that could use a lot more top end. This neck pickup is so voicey and it sounds great. It's got lots of sustain. Let's take a look. When it comes to modding guitars, again, I do this out of necessity. This has been recorded on numerous albums over the years. It's been an absolute mainstay here on the YouTube channel. This is more me than any of my other guitars because so much has been done to it to extend its life. And thanks to the stainless steel frets, these great pickups, it gives me a great point of difference from your conventional Telecaster. Let us know if you're into modding guitars and why in the comment section. Let us know which guitar is your main squeeze. Catch you soon.